Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button and check out my new website pinned at the top of the comment section. This is part two on growing your food indoors and what I like to highlight in this particular video is actually growing a cherry tomato, um, a cherry tomato plant and bell pepper plant. This is a new experience for me as well. Typically, your leafy vegetables, herbs, do really great in growing indoors. But if one had to grow hot weather plants, it's always nice to see how well you would do in producing fruits for the cherry tomato plants as well as bell peppers. So I wanna show you where I'm needing to transplant my bell peppers and my tomato plants. Again, this is part two, come along. So as you can see, this particular bell pepper has gotten super, super tall from my previous video. And this is the pot I'm gonna plant it in. I have a pebble tray to keep humidity around the plant and I'm using our organic potting material. So I'm gonna go ahead and transplant this particular uh, tomato plant. It is stressing a little because it is root bound right now. So let me go ahead and So you can see the roots on this plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here like this. It's a good size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and backfill it. The potting soil. Now, cherry tomato plants do not get big. They actually stay pretty compact and bushy. So this would be the preferable type of tomato plant you want to grow indoors. It stays small, it stays compact, and it's not going to get super big. Again, depending on how much growth is on this particular plant, I may need to up-pot it again. But at this point, I'm giving it quite a bit of room to grow. So I'm gonna keep back filling the, the pot. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and feed it with organic dynamite mater magic. Tomato plants are heavy feeders. And so you do wanna make sure that you are feeding your plant while it's growing. And I probably should shake it from this end. So I'm just gonna give it a tablespoon and just basically mix it all around. And then I'm gonna backfill a little, mo a little more with soil. There. Now, I have up potted the cherry bell tomato plant. I fed it with organic dynamic mater magic. It is three times the size of the pot it was in. This is the third time it's been um, potted up. 
So, so far so good. We're doing a pretty good job with this particular tomato plant. So, so far so good. I am going to water it. Now the next plant that I am going to um, up pot is the bell pepper plant. Now I already um, converted this bell pepper plant, a bell pepper plant this size into this pot. And so now I need to do the same with this one. So I'm growing two bell pepper plants indoors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. There, I'm going to place it in, in the pot just like this. Now I'm going to backfill it. And I'm also going to feed both these bell pepper plants because bell pepper plants are also heavy feeders. Okay, so now both these bell pepper plants has been potted up twice from this size pot. I will add a supplement, a calcium supplement to both this plant and this plant to prevent blossom end rot. And I am also going to feed both these bell pepper plants with the Dynamic Mater Magic. So now we have the cherry tomato plant up potted and two bell pepper plants up potted. But all three of these plants were started from seeds. I also have red onions I'm going to grow indoors. So I'm going to pop, get, pop these in here. So what are we growing indoors right now? We are attempting to grow cherry tomatoes, two bell pepper plants, and red onions. I already transplanted one red onion plant in here and then I'm doing another one in this container. I am going to transplant these in three other containers about this size. I also want to show you where I'm growing a turmeric plant indoors. I always save my containers and you can see that I have this turmeric plant growing indoors. I'm also regrowing onions indoors. I have my oregano growing indoors. More oregano and rosemary, my stevia, turmeric, and etc. So as you can see, Although I'm growing vegetables outdoors, I'm also growing vegetables indoors. I want to be able to know what other hot weather plant I can successfully grow indoors and mimic the outdoors environment. So I just wanted to take you along, show you what um, these plants have done since the last time I did my video. Again, they all started from seeds. And this is part two, and I'll keep you um, up to date and take you along with how we're doing. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button.